Okay, so I've just received this in the post today, and it is the uh, the very puzzle Snow Mystery, which I ordered probably over a month ago now. So it's taken quite a while to get here. I actually bought this from Speedcube.org, so I'm not really sure why it says iSpay on it, iSpay.com, but whatever. Um, and I think the shipping on this was actually free. So uh, yeah, let's open this up. Let's see, where do I open it from? This cost me about £5, 5p, which I think it's kind of expensive because I've got the feeling that this puzzle is quite small and it's quite thin as well. Um, Interesting packaging that they've used there. So yeah, I mean, five pounds does seem quite a lot for what it is. Um, I mean, I've, it could be a really fun puzzle, but I mean, you know, it, after you know, at the end of the day, it is plastic, and there's not much plastic there. So, but five pounds was pretty much the cheapest price that I could find this for online. So there you can see it says uh, Snow Mystery there by Very Puzzle. And it says Snow Mystery is an intuitive twisted puzzle. The aim is to sort up colours after scramble. Enjoy. Uh, choking hazard, small parts not for children under three years. Made in China. And there it's got a 0 to 3 sad onion there. So let's open this up. I decided to get one in white because I think some puzzles look better in white and other puzzles look better in black. I think this particular one probably looks best in white. I mean it's more fitting anyway because it is a it is supposed to be a snowflake so wasn't sure if this was going to come stickered or not because I've seen a lot of unboxings of these where they're not actually stickered. So like um, I was I was I was wondering what kind of colour scheme I should go for because I've seen them with uh, with different colour schemes. But basically, you can turn these antlers or whatever you'd call them like so, and they basically match up with these pieces going around. So not only can you turn these, but you can also turn it this way. You can also turn it. It's kind of hard figuring out how to how to turn it properly. Okay, it seems like it doesn't really want to turn. Um, there we go. So you can also turn it this way as well. I think it was just stuck there. And yeah, it's quite interesting. Like on the on the other side of these antlers, it actually says uh, "very puzzle." It's probably not even going to show up on camera at all. But so uh, yeah, let's scramble this on camera. I've got no idea whether this is easy to solve or not, or whether it's difficult. But it looks like an interesting puzzle, so I thought I'd, uh, I'd get one. Stuck again. I think it's like when you try and turn it this way, these antlers kind of want to move. So when one of these antlers moves, it kind of makes it difficult to move it this way then, if you know what I mean. Okay, so I suppose I'm going to call that scrambled. I'm not sure if it is fully scrambled or not. But um, I'll show you how it compares to a, a regular size 3x3 to give you an idea of the size. And you can also use these as puzzle stands as well. 
Um, I think yeah, I think you just turn these antlers this way. And then you can just use it as like a puzzle stand. I think is this 3x3 gonna be a bit too small for it? Yeah. Um with with bigger rounder puzzles you can actually fit them in this. Because I've seen it done on YouTube. I saw it in uh, one of Pete the Geek's videos. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. That's the uh the snow mystery puzzle by Very Puzzle. Thanks for watching.